Hello everyone. How is everyone doing? Today is Friday, March 1st, 10.38 a.m. I am wearing a hat. It's not just because my I went to bed with my hair wet and it doesn't look great. I like hats, that always happens. I talk to my hair and um, I like to do that. I like always have keep losing hats. Emma, my sister, if you're watching, and Abby. I think my lover hat was lost at Abby's. My tie-dye hat is maybe somewhere in Emma's house, so. Um, two favorite hats. Um, this one, University of Kentucky Psychology. Where did I get it? I'm not sure. Um, so today, I actually kind of made some notes, or at least I wrote down what what do I want this episode to be like, and I wrote down some episode name ideas, because, I don't know, I am trying to have less, trying to have less what? How was I going to finish that sentence? See, this is good for me to talk out loud. <laughs> Last night, I... Well... Let me just get into it, because I will probably title this episode something about breakups. Um, so, today's Friday. I broke up with Neil Wednesday night. I did not really have that, like, planned for a while. Um, like, it was, like, that day kind of decision. That's what I, But, like, you can kind of see signs of... Like, I can see signs of, like... He mentioned something about, like, my texting the past few weeks or a while. And I'm like, yeah, like, I, I noticed that, too. And... So it's all kind of like led up until I kept asking the past few days I was asking for like clarity from God and my dreams are just daily. Um, I'm like, God, will you please give me clarity? And I felt like the more like I kept asking, then the more I, these unsure feelings and like the feelings of wanting to do it, like those were all signs of that this is probably like what I wanted and what's best for me for my growth that's what I just read something I like opened up I like to open up the bible and just like read something um Jesus this is John 21 chapter well, chapter 21, verse 17 or 18, it's like halfway. Um, Jesus said to him, take care of my sheep. Or, okay, verse 18. I am telling you the truth. When you were young, you used to get ready and go anywhere you wanted to. But when you were old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will tie you up and take you where you don't want to go. And then basically saying, like, Jesus said to him, follow him, um, or follow me, um, and that, like, I read that, like, ten minutes ago, I have no sense of time, but, um, because it doesn't really exist, (laughs) um, but yeah, when I was younger, like, It kind of was harder to like figure out or it was easier to figure out what I wanted but then when it's when I'm older like it is like I have this tendency to not see my relationships like super clearly especially like relationship relationships like you know what I mean by that um I know this light is kind of weird, but whatever. I kind of fixed it, but I kind of like the backlighting. 
Um, yeah, I was also going to start out this episode with saying thank you so much for all the comments. And I really don't, like, it makes me so happy and I don't know what to say. So when I, I like to reply and I don't know, I guess I don't reply to all of them, but um, I don't know what to say most of them. Like I've, I've talked about how I feel like there's, like at any given point I could choose so many different options. Um, and I'm like, what do I choose? What do I say? That's what Wednesday night I, like Wednesday, I filmed a get ready with me too, before I went to drive to Louisville to break up with him. And I haven't watched it yet. I don't know if that'll see the light of day. That's what I would want. I really, I love him so much. I do love him. I told him that. Um. But, like, the reason I did it, I guess, is because I I want more from a partner. I want more from a partner. I want, I mean, the time-wise and, like, the traveling-wise is a reason. He lives, like, an hour away, and he's been working a lot. Like, when we first met, we both didn't really have jobs, and so... That was nice. So I don't regret at all this relationship. I feel like I can't like regret things I've gone through because I wouldn't be who I am today if I didn't. But if like I feel like I chose that path when it really wasn't the best for me to have like a longer tor- term relationship with. But I've learned so much and I really like it. Like. He was the nicest, um, well, besides his smart ass comments, that's what we talked about. (laughs) But he really was, like, I mean, that was, like, a great breakup. It really was. That's, so I had asked to go on a date, um, like, the day before, and he was, like, Wednesday or Thursday is good with me, Thursday might be better, and then... Um, so I was planning to go on, like, Wednesday, and, um, that morning he's like, Thursday would probably be better for me, and I'm like, "Mm." like, I was thinking about it for a while, I'm like, do I let him kind of choose what it's gonna be like, and I'm like, Wednesday would really be better for me, he was just like, okay, like, I'll leave work early, I'm like, okay, it's that easy, (laughs) and... So that's why I like showered and got ready and and that's why I still wasn't sure if I like I felt like it was just hard. I've never broken up with anybody before. Um, so this is new to me and that's so, why it was a lot easier than I thought. Like I kept asking for help from God, my angels, angels. I don't know they're mine I always feel weird I'm like mine me I don't know but and it was a lot easier than I thought and so I think it was like more of a shock to him but he was like great with it so he talked after I, it took me a while to say it like he was just like so are we going and I'm like kind of like figuring out how to say it a stalling I'm like like silent for a while like moving my head I'm like and then I said it um and he was like puppy dog eyes I don't know I love his eyes but that what is that um I need to listen um but yeah, I had a lot of stuff over there. That was another thing. I'm like, 
like I, how am I gonna get like all this stuff that was like one of the things I was like worried about not worried but I'm just like how is this gonna go down like I didn't know how this was gonna go down because we were planning to go to a restaurant I'm like should I do it at the restaurant and then I'm like how would the pay situation work out and like what if he doesn't want to talk to me after I say it and so we did it and that's what I think he was glad about it but during it I'm like we can still go out to eat <laughs> I'm down for that because we were both hungry like I hadn't eaten well I had a protein bar and then I had like a fruit and nut bar on the way over oh also on the way over I got pulled over for the first time ever I actually think that's a I feel like it's a good omen um, I need to figure that out though I think I could do traffic school and hopefully I wouldn't have to pay anything that's what the cop made it seem like but then talking with him like do I even say his name like XPF um I've said his name plenty of times so go look back and listen but if you want but um that's why I'm looking at it in right now like I painted it and I'm like okay um yeah he was like I feel I feel even worse that you have to do that I'm like I actually think it's a good omen the guy was nice I wasn't like worried about anything I'm like I was going 70 and a 50 like and I see the cop and I'm like kind of not slowing down but I'm kind of like like it felt fine and I also kind of like that's why I don't know if I like kind of manifested it I'm like what if he pulls me over and that's why he just comes up behind me and then we go to the I go to the right and then like it just happens um and it was quick and easy he was nice he was kind of like shaking when he um getting my uh, license I feel like I gotta drive so you like right there we're vulnerable on this podcast um <clears throat> and authentic that's what I love the comments that say stuff like that like I really am <laughs> like I can't help but be and I think I mean, it's just helpful in life to be and like why are so I've done a lot of work on myself that's why like my other two breakups was very hard for me very very hard for me it was a lot of growth one person I was with for like three and a half years and it was more I want to I feel like people do people ever use the word toxic I don't know but it, that's what it was but like I allowed myself in that situation I learned so much from him and I'm like I don't regret a thing because I wouldn't be who I am today if it wasn't like that but that one was very hard like I I lost my dad he was with me when I found out my dad died and that was like four or five months in and that's what like this past relationship known him for like five months about to be like four months dating um so i feel like that is like that means something like that timeline like five means like change and that i just heard the garbage truck come up so i felt like if i didn't do this now like it would have kept like it's there was just like no growth either that's like I want to get married I want to have kids um that's why like right now like I'm kind of like like I need to figure myself out like right now like I don't want to get meet someone tomorrow and then get married unless it's good but like I think like sometime but um that's what with him and his new job like it just didn't seem like that anything was gonna slow down or like change or like anything like that so every all signs were pointing to 
this was not going to grow in the way I want to grow in. I love you, baby. Oh. My dog baby's down there. If you don't know her, she's changed my life, too. She's about four. She's had heart surgery. I had to, like, grieve her death. Um. So. Okay, the second breakup. We only did it for, like, 11 days. But. <laughs> that. Hurt me a lot. And I, I've been thinking, like, it kind of. I feel like every relationship and every person is so unique and different. And, like, so every experience is but like that one kind of like shook me in a blur I was not expecting it and I feel I don't know exactly how XBF feels but um the more recent one should I just <laughs> the end one he but I think it was more of a shock but he also saw it coming you know but the guy with the 11 days, like, it was, I'm kind of, I was not seeing things clearly, and for a long time after, I wasn't seeing things clearly, like, started working at his job, like, and I always thought we were going to get back together, and it's just, like, that type of thinking was so delulu, delusy, illusional and not healthy and I just wasn't like I should never like have to beg anyone to be with me that's what it is like I want more from a partner I want someone who like really supports me and not not supporting me that's what I feel like I said that in the get ready with me I'm like he doesn't not not support me but at the same time like that's kind of not like the support I want and I don't even know if that's support if you just like I want someone to like really support me not just like be okay with everything or do that like who wants the best for me and tries and puts effort in that <laughs> so and that's what with my second breakup I was still caught up on the first one and that's why it was just all such a blur and I not to talk on N's behalf but he had he had only had like one relationship that was like 10 years on and off like so he's probably still stuck working through things like that like that's a lot to go through so I don't know if this is gonna like wake him up this second relationship really woke me up like the first one I was still stuck on him a little bit but like also done but that was also like the only thing of love I knew and he was like my best friend like I kind of he didn't like me having friends toxic red flag I would not recommend being with someone who doesn't really want you to have friends. And, um, I don't know, it was really hard, and it took years, and that's what, but I've grown so much from each relationship, each encounter with, like, a person like honestly like I really feel like soul connections to like kind of everyone I meet like I can tell when it's more of like a soul connection but I guess I have such an ability to like see people and like I and I have like feelings in my soul or spirit or something that that's what is it my spirit or the holy spirit I don't know it's the holy spirit like I don't know if it's mine and I don't know if I feel it in my spirit. That's why I feel it more in, like, a soul thing. If the... Like, if this is a person who I'm supposed to meet and learn lessons from. That type of... I can tell the difference. 
like if this is like a growing type of relationship or like not or just I have like immediate connections with people too welcome to my thought <laughs> if this is your first time watching this is what it's like I took medicine for a while I stopped that and like I stopped it I took it for a year stopped for a year took it again for like a year and then I stopped like in July I think is when I stopped the last time it was like Vyvanse and antidepressant that's why I tried two different ones the first time was the first antidepressant was marzipine and the second one was anti or no not anti the clistalorophram if you were curious but um it, those really changed my life too they really did and I didn't want to be on that forever and I really want to get in touch with like I wanted to get in touch with my like natural stuff that's why I was on birth control for a while and I didn't really want to be I feel like that affected that affects your body a lot it does that's what kind of tricks your body into thinking you're pregnant already and then you're like attracted to people that are more beta or just people you're not usually more attracted to I've heard Whitney kind of talk about that but um, I immediately felt better like I was taking the pill for a while and then I had it in my arm and then immediately like kind of like one day I like called up I'm like I want to get this taken out of my arm so but and immediately I felt the difference it was so amazing actually and the people they were like you should like you sure you don't want to get another one put in like you there what are the other options I'm like why are you trying to push this on me like it kind of it felt like a like a vaccine type of thing like when doctors are trying to push things on me I don't like that I just get the ick that's a that's an ick when people are trying to push things on me that's an ick for me and so yeah I haven't been on that in kind of like a good while maybe a couple years I don't know. I used to play with it in my arm, and then I was, and then like thinking about that, it feels so weird. <laughs> um. Yeah, I've been a lot more in touch with like my sensitivities and like listening to my soul and spirit now that I'm like following Jesus or just like taking up the cross, like being humble and dying to myself every day. I just burped. Good sign. <laughs> dying to myself every day is a great like I immediately feel the difference when I do I'm like oh, okay like I don't all these things where I'm like thinking about me 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 or like worrying how many times in the bible does it say not to worry like a lot and so it really just like releases a lot of things for me every day um so I would remember recommend that google it if you want more information because i'm not very informative or in depth about that I'm not talking about it in depth um if you want to <laughs> want to watch the episode where i met in i think that's maybe episode 12 it's called i met someone one of my like most listened to episodes <laughs> so that's why I posted on my Instagram I haven't like really posted another one on my Instagram unless it was with someone but <laughs> of course everyone clicked on that one <laughs> this is funny people like tea it's a very human thing um <coughs> So, I'm looking at this, like, art piece I 
did like the day before I decided to break up with him. That's why I was done dog sitting at like 12.30 a.m. And then I came home and then like I saw my niece and nieces were here. Like they had drawn and paint. Like this is kind of like an art studio right now. And I just felt compelled like look at my art Instagram, all love, 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 love XO if you want to see it. And so it's a bunch of like arrows. I don't love explaining my art, but I'm just describing it. Like there's a bunch of arrows kind of like pointing towards the middle. Like, like it's my, I like my art better when I'm not thinking. Like, I think that's like real. That's for me, that's how I like it. Cause I'm very abstract and like non representational, very expressionist, but I just, it just started coming out of me, like all these arrows pointing in the middle, kind of towards like nothing, kind of towards the center. And you can interpret it that how you want, but that's what you can interpret it a lot of different ways. But also one way. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I just like it. I like how it makes me feel. Um. this morning like because I've I've been recording these on Fridays for a while and it's like sometimes I will google other podcasts like bring ideas sometimes it helps but I mean it really just reminds me how different everyone is and like I don't know, that's cool, that's okay, that's like how it's supposed to be. This hat be kind of tight. Um, but I've been like grieving yesterday and today, but like after, like I'm, I've been knowing like I'm gonna talk about this on the podcast. Like this is a big thing for me. I'm going to Florida later today, so I will be like by myself with baby. Um, so hopefully it's sunny there and I can just lay out in the sun and just connect with myself in that way. I don't know, like I know this relationship was a good amount of time. That's what me and him, him mainly in, has joked about, like my 11 day relationship, like joked about it. <laughs> Like, that, if that's even, like, a real one, I'm, like, I mean, it felt real to me, but I'm, like, asked him, I'm, like, is this, like, like, you count this as a real relationship? He's, like, yeah. I'm, like, yeah. Like, it was. Like, this was, like, four, five months. So, I don't know how long I'm gonna grieve. Like, that's what, like, moving on, like, I'm not, like, I don't know, it just kind of feels, I feel like I need to get back into my groove right now. My eyes have been tired from crying. It feels good right now. I haven't washed my face or like done anything. I will shower today before I leave on the plane. Maybe I'll try to work out or move my body because yesterday I didn't really feel like that. That's why I didn't really like eat yesterday until like late at night where I kind of like force myself and then it's like it's fine it's good like but then it feels weird like I also one of the signs pointing like weird in my body and I kind of felt like kind of felt like I had like no control over it in a way I feel like I always have control free will is a thing but you know those things but like if eating like I've been eating a lot when I was with him, like, kind of felt like nothing could satisfy this hunger, and I felt like, I mean, immediately when I felt like this breakup would be a thing, like, I have been, um, not hungry, so that's a sign, um, when I have to do traffic school, that's what me and, and joked, I'm like, 
something about meeting a guy there. I don't know. But the breakup was good. It was really good. I moved on my... Okay, the recording just stopped, but um, the breakup was good. Like, I moved all my stuff out of there and then went home. So maybe this is a good time to stop. Like, I feel today I will... I said yesterday I did get stuff done. I got, had a bunch of clothes. I said the, the cleaning lady came and I just like stayed in my room for a while until she left. And there was a bunch of clothes on my um, bed and I put those all away and it seemed like a daunting task and it just some, it seemed like a lot of work but like I felt better. I want to get rid of more clothes, I feel like I say that a lot, but I really do, and that's why I vacuumed my room, I basically cleaned my room myself, which felt good, that's what if, I felt like the cleaning of the space around me, and then me like being in the not as clean room, and then like I did it myself, like those are all signs, or just like good, uh, symbols of what's going on in my life. Eh. Okay, I was making sure I was still recording on the sound thing. Um, I love you all and I hope you all are doing good and have benefited from this in any type of way. Um, I will continue being vulnerable and authentic, always. I can't help it. I love it. <laughs> um, yeah, so I keep saying I'm a lot, so I'm just excited to, like, get this all uploaded, do that. Maybe I'll potentially get on some workout thing, figure out what I'm going to bring to Florida, which I... 11 11 um baby's my personal item and i think i can only bring like one bag so I'll, i want to bring the camera bag i don't know how much i could bring in that but um yeah i hope y'all are all having a great rest of your day mm -hmm. i love you all keep i love the comments even though i don't know what to say that much and my next two episodes, at least, will be interviews or, like, with people. So, I may do, like, vlogs where I, this is, like, the same thing. So. All love, love, all. I'll see y'all in Florida. <laughs>